Welcome back to IT Security Labs. In, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Greylog on CentOS 7. Greylog is a leading open source tool that you can use to collect all your logs and actually store the logs. You can even analyze the logs. You can actually um, have real time uh, analysis of those logs in Greylog. And it makes it easy to search for your logs and actually visualize them. So I'll just quickly show you what my gray log in my lab looks like right now. What you're looking at is squid proxy server logs that are indexed in gray log. I can see all these fields nicely. If I wanted, I can search over here for these logs. I, I can tell these, these graphs. I can even create more graphs in here. However, I also prefer to create my graphs in Grafana. These are the graphs of the same data that you're looking at in Greylog. And Greylog makes it easy to actually classify this data, create grok filters and all that stuff. So that's what I'll be showing you today on how to set it up. And the logs are coming from my PFSense firewall. I'm collecting firewall logs, um, squid proxy logs, and my also my um, snort intrusion detection system logs so this is really great for security and they actually uh claim right here on the website that you can collect all the data and identify threats in ridiculously fast so i actually believe it was i've set it up so enough of the talking let's set up gray log in our send os 7 machine the machine that i'm using is running here in my vmware lab i've been showing this in this whole series on how to monitor your systems and i have gray log running on this machine this is my ip address here and this is send os 7 nothing else is installed on it i'm just trying to save you time by uh, just skipping the installation of send os just install send os and ssh into your server so this is our server right here so the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that um we understand the components that makes up gray log and there are three components that we need to install we need to install MongoDB, Elasticsearch, and Greylog server. And we can install these uh, starting right now. So the first thing that we need to do, uh, I'll be copying and pasting these commands and I'll be showing you. Uh, so there are three components to Greylog. We need to install our MongoDB, we need to install Elasticsearch, and then we install our Greylog server. Those are the three components that will make up a wonderful gray log for log management system and to to install mongodb the first thing that we need to do i'm just going to be copying and pasting these commands that i'll be showing you below the first thing is you need to install java on CentOS. so we just uh, where yam install i'm just copying and pasting this command and this will install java which is required for this to work So we just say yes. We want to finish the installation for Java. And we're installing version 1.8 here. So that shouldn't take too long. The next uh, requirement is something called a uh, policy call YouTube Python. And this is uh, a package that's required for this installation to complete. So to install it, you just do um, yum install policy call YouTube Python. And this shouldn't also take too long. Say yes. And we should be good. And once that is done, the next piece that we need to install is MongoDB. And to install our MongoDB, we just follow the instructions that I'll have in the description for you. Next is we, we need to add the repo. And paste that repo. So now that I have my repo in there, we just do a yum install MongoDB. And that should install our MongoDB, which is required for this. And yes. And once MongoDB is done, we start the service, allow it to start a startup, because that's also very important. Uh, yes. 
I have all these commands that I'm copying and pasting in the description or to work on a blog post if you prefer that compared to watching on the screen but I have all these commands in the description so you can actually follow along as well once the installation for MongoDB is done we start the service then we want to enable it to make sure that it starts at startup and that system control enable MongoDB and we, we do this with every service there we go and that's it for MongoDB and next we install Elasticsearch which is also required for our server to actually work so let's go ahead and install our Elasticsearch just like what we did with MongoDB we're also going to put in a repo and also just run in the installation and this is standard installations in Linux but the first thing that we need to understand is this version of Greylog 3.0 only works with Elasticsearch 6 so that's what we are going to be installing here the newer versions of Elasticsearch will give you a lot of headaches and they will not work install Elasticsearch let's just clear that you wanna add the repo as you can see right there then you wanna import the key After that, yum install Elasticsearch. It's very simple, as you can see here. And yes, we want to continue the installation. Our Elasticsearch installation is done and the next thing is that we need to do is edit the Elasticsearch configuration because Greylog prefers that Elasticsearch cluster be called Greylog. So we just quickly change the name. And if you go to edit the Elasticsearch fo folder, uh, we, what we want to look for is the cluster name. So let's just search cluster.name. As you can see here, and I'm just going to copy and paste here. Cluster.name and call it Greylog. And you want to type in cluster.name and Greylog, this line right here. Then after that, you can escape. And from here, we can just do a, the same procedure that, like what we did with MongoDB. Start the service restart it and enable Elasticsearch so it starts a startup so we are done installing our Elasticsearch to test that we have connectivity to this Elasticsearch dashboard we, we, we can just run the curl the typical curl command for Elasticsearch this will verify that Elasticsearch is running by curl and the uh, HTTP location localhost in this case as you can see you want to see this text here that says you know for search and this whole stuff here. So now that we're done with our elastic search, we have two out of three components. We do it over again, and this time we're installing Greylog 3. And this time we just get the repo from this command here, RPM, and there you go. You will retrieve the latest repos for Greylog. This is the easier part. And as you can see, then we can just do a yum install gray log once that is done. And there we go. Yes. So our installation is complete here for gray log, but there's a couple of things that we need to set up. We need to set up what they call uh, the password secret and the root, the root user, which is the admin uh, password hash. And this is very simple to set up, but to do that, we need to uh, install password gen because we're going to be creating hashes here this is actually for sec sec security so to do that you want to install the Apple release first Let's say yes then after that do a yum install password gen and there you go everything you should be able to copy and paste and not able to type anything and for you this should be going very quickly and yes and yes there we go
Next, we need to generate our password secret by just running the password gen. And if you have done this before, this that's the command. Password gen negative N1S96. And as you can see here, this is our password secret. We want to keep an eye on that one. And then the next one is we want to generate the admin password hash. And this is the command that you run. And of course, you want to change this to your own password. So let's say um, strong password. As you can see here. So we have the secret and password. Next, we just need to enter this password in our configuration file and we should be good. So now that we have our password secret and root password SHA here, we just need to add these two metrics to our config file. So let's just do that. And in here, I like to search. We're looking for password underscore secret equals As you can see it's waiting for the numbers so i just go ahead and do an insert and password secret and i copy this copy password secret from here and then i can see down here root password sha equals and copy that since we just generated those copy that and paste it here and next to make sure that we can access our gray log we need to edit the http underscore bind location this is to tell it which uh, ip address that we can access it on so let's search for that property in here so right here we need um Add our IP address. So what I'll do is I'll just um, uncomment this one from the default and put in my IP address here. It's which is one nine two dot one six eight dot five dot fifty one on port nine thousand. As you can see, now we need to specify our elastic search shards. The default is going to be four. So let's find let's find that so as you can see our elastic search shards is set to four since i only have one node here i want this to be set to one and we can exit and save our configuration file then from here you want to open the ports that we just are going to work with elastic search will be listening on port 9200 gray log is on port 9000 so let's go ahead and uh, open those right now so if you do a file or cmd open uh, port 9200 success let's also open port 9000 here while let's do it as you can see success then dash dash reload as you can see we just restarted our firewall Next, we just need to start gray log and enable gray log. So system control, start gray log. So system control, start gray log server, and we edit it to start up. And from here, if everything went well, we should be able to access our gray log on port 9000. So if you go to 192.168.5.51 on port, port 9000, you see that our gray log server we just come up like this one and add our username admin yes we say we, we sign in with admin and our password strong password so we don't want that so this will be the first page that you see once you have your gray log set up so this gray log server is now ready to receive your logs you can send logs directly straight from pfSense into your gray, gray log server and I can show you how to set that one up or in my case I'm sending logs from my existing syslog server which is our syslog I do I do show you how to set it up in a different video so I'm just forwarding our syslog 
set logs from our syslog into my gray log and in the next videos you'll be able to see that we can just get logs in here quickly so that's how you set up gray log in CentOS 7 these are all the pieces i showed you step by step on how to do it remember to subscribe and like this video in the next videos i'll be showing you how to actually get all your logs from pfSense into gray log then we can create our indexes and also end up our grok filters and we can even show you how to end up with the graphs like this from those logs so that's it from this video i'll see you in the next video remember to like and subscribe